Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. So, last week I showed you some of the interesting, pretty, you know, bits and pieces that I found in my shop. Today I'm going to show you some not so pretty things I found in my shop and I'm going to preface this by telling you a little story. Some of you may know this story. If you've watched a recent report with me, then you basically know the story. Spoilers alert, I think not. Essentially, it was shortly before Christmas. A lot of bad juju happened to me. But one of the things that happened to me was I was filming in here. I think it was the first GoPro video I filmed. And essentially, I turned the heating off. And essentially, essentially, I didn't turn it back on. So what happened was, I think the, the heating was off for a few days. And the temperature in here went all the way down from about 25, which I think it's kept at the minute. Uh... No, at the minute it's actually 20, so we've lowered it to 20. So it's dropped down from around about 20, maybe just above, to about 5 degrees or something like that over a few days. So essentially what happened was I subjected my entire unit to effectively shipping minus the root disturbance and minus the light sort of. The light's very terrible in here in winter. Things normally look terrible here in winter anyway, just due to that. I'm not about to start putting big crazy lights on. If things just look like crap, then they look like crap. You know what I mean? I have my limits. But yeah, this, this wasn't supposed to be one of them. So a lot of stuff in my shop looks terrible right? And I'm, I'm not just saying it, guys. If you've seen my recent GoPro stuff, you might realize that it's not looking good. The wall, horrific. Stuff behind me, funny enough, I haven't even picked off leaves. That's like the greenest part of my shop behind me, okay? I have a lot of stuff here that is very yellow, very, very unattractive, and the higher you go, the worse it gets. So that's fun. So I have for you today some stuff here. Some of it is a victim of underwatering, actually. Some of it is a victim of overwatering or edema, just because the, the temperature and the humidity had changed and all of a sudden there was basically too much water for the plants, even though the water level hadn't changed, if that makes any sense. I have something that's just crisped up and not died, but a bit touch and go. I have something I repotted a long time ago that just refuses, refuses to thrive. Yeah, so a bit of a blend, a bit of a blend, but generally these are all mini little catastrophes. They're not as bad as I have given you in some videos, some weeks. I wouldn't really put any of these on camera, ironically, in a normal video, so we're gonna get through them. I think I might start with this one next to me because this actually is not overwatering. This one is underwatering and I saw it coming. And I did nothing about it, so I guess that's not ideal. Let me just pick it up. Yeah, some of you might have seen it, some of you might have cried for help, and I did nothing about it, and to be fair, it's still alive, don't get me wrong, but I've, I've let this happen. I'm going to be totally honest, I've let this happen. I guess I just don't like this plant enough. It's awful, I know, it's awful. This is Epipremnum Enjoy. If I just show you the, uh, the end of it, give me one moment, guys. Pick that up there, hopefully it might focus on it and not me, because it it's kind of programmed to focus on my face instead. There, this is Epipremnum Enjoy, and it's looking not so enjoy. You feel me? You feel me? Essentially, it's been in this pot, ill. It's been near the wall on top of the little uh, terrarium vivarium thing that my Monstera Bleaker sort of lives in. And it's been on there for ages. And because it's in self-watering, you might think, you might think, Kaylee, self-watering pots, surely your plants are going to live longer. You'd be wrong. The number one thing I tend to kill in this unit are things in self-watering pots. It's crazy. And it's because they're in self-watering, they get sort of, they get relegated so that when I water, I think, oh, it's got a bit left in that. I'll, I'll just water something else because I have so much water if I'm using, say, a watering can and not hose or something. So I tend not to water. So funny enough, it's actually worse sometimes having things in self-watering pots. Now, it's not so bad if I have something in the unit that's on the floor in one of the aisles. It's a big plant. You can see it, right? They tend to do better. And I know you'll know what I mean if you've seen down the aisles, either on the GoPro videos or something like that, right? So I've got some down here that do fine because if they're in an aisle, they're on the floor. You can see them. But this little guy... Needless to say, he was not. Hopefully, I'm not smacking my mic with him. Needless to say, he was not. He was over there. And I would almost give myself an excuse of saying it's because he's over there. But it's not. Because he's actually, or he was actually, next to a philodendron, uh, heteraceum, well, just that, right? The green, basically green Hartley philodendron. He's next to that. And that one's 
a little bit neglected, but it's looking quite fine because I've had it for years and I love it. I've never liked this. I'm just going to be totally brutally honest with you on camera because I'm not one for, you know, making things up on this channel or anything. It's been neglected genuinely, but also I don't like it. That's the best way I can put it. It's trying to grow itself down the pot. And if you can see there, can you see that? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. All the way down the pot. That's looking nice. Is it in focus? I feel like it's not, you know. There. Looking very, very good. That's almost thumbnail worthy. We like this. Let's have a bit of that. Ew, lovely. So what am I going to do, you ask? I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do nothing. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm going to put this in the corner. It's probably going to die. And I need to pop something when I scrape all the roots off the pot because there's actually some, you won't see it, but they've actually grown around the bottom of the pot and they're sort of circling round. So that's really nice. Epipremnum enjoy. You can get these in garden centers. They are really, really affordable. Not the prettiest epipremnum for me, I'll be honest. The leaf to, you know, giant petiole ratio. I, I don't like it. There's so many nicer epipremnums out there. So he's, he's probably going to die, guys. Um, sorry to whoever that offends, but, you know, there he is. So pop him down. He's the, he is the only one, I think, that's an underwatering situation, actually. Everything else is just crap. Well, I'll tell you what, this would make a good thumbnail as well. <laughs> right. I wanted to show you this. Because, sorry, I'm kicking bits of enjoy out of the way on the floor. Little leaves that have come off. I wanted to show everybody this because if you ever import bananas, and I don't mean from a garden centre, I mean like, you know, bare root from overseas, this is borderline guaranteed to happen. And I can't actually tell you which one this is. I don't even know. There is no tag in it. I know where it came from, so I presume Ben knows what it is. I don't know. It could be, ah, oh, what was it called? Tenny, Musa Tenny or something, literally from a video just before Christmas. And we're only just, we're in like the 3rd of January now that I'm filming this. You'll see it later, obviously. And it looks like this. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, guys. Now, I just plucked one of these from a tray of about five bananas that look just like this. A different height. Very nice. But I guess this is just a bit of a PSA that bananas are great if you can grow them and everything else and you see a beautiful picture online and you want it, get it, great. Honestly, do you. Just do you. But please be aware that this might very realistically happen. Now, is it growing through? I'll be honest, I can't see anything. I'm going to try and give it a tiny, tiny little peel. I'm not really seeing anything. Here's the top. I don't know. I don't really see much. So, yeah, I mean, it's solid. Mm, no, it's not. Okay, it's juicy. Okay, so this is a bad situation. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, what What can you say at this point, guys? This might die. I will tell Ben about this when he gets here, which I don't think it'll be very long, 20 minutes or so, basically after I filmed. And I will maybe tell him that this is a bit squishy. And hopefully by the time you see this, because it will be a week later, everything will be fine. But yeah, basically just a PSA, guys. If I ever hold up a beautiful banana on here, which to be honest doesn't happen often because I like to show you them as they come in. And nearly always when they come in, they look bad. But if you ever see bananas online, really nice variegated ones, different colored ones, if you get them in from overseas where they're traveling bare root or something like that, maybe even if they're not, to be honest, this is going to happen. So just to let you know, don't get enamored by it. Don't get enamored by it because these have a comb in the bottom, which is basically like a bulb. And... This is going to happen probably nearly every time and they will just keep sprouting back. So your plant isn't dead unless it rots, different, but it might look a bit like this. So I guess just learn to love this for like however long it takes to grow back or just don't get bananas. I don't know. I love bananas. I love bananas. I think they're beautiful, but who wants to go through this? Who wants to go through this? And here we have a wonderful case of, I believe, edema, which... It, it, this isn't the only plant that has this, I'm going to be honest. There is a whole tray. This is Philodendron gloriosum. I think it's regular form because the veins aren't that bright. It's a whole tray of them. And again, I think I've showed you on that GoPro video where it was just like a tray of just yellow shit and it was just all gloriosum. It's from there. There's plenty more where this came from. Literally, there's no point showing you a whole tray of it. This is very, very likely from when the unit decided to go because Dom Dom over here left the heater off. Yeah, it's not looking good. I will say there's no pests involved here. If anyone's going to say, oh, is there pests? Literally, no. I, I can't remember the last time I had pests in this unit, to be honest. I think I had a tiny case of spider mites upstairs because it's drier than down here. Generally, that's it because my pest control... I mean, I can't show you it anyway. I'm actually looking for it. I think I might have used it all now. My pest control gets rid of this. It's basically bug bombs. So they fill up the whole unit and anything with legs 
guys. It's great. I do them maybe every couple of weeks. So it gets rid of all the pests. But no, this is, this is Kaylee's fault. That's what this is. Now don't get me wrong. It can happen every so often in the unit, but it's rare. And if it happens, it's not one plant. It is a full tree where something's happened to it. Do you know what I mean? Maybe a full tree is dried out and it's got watered again, but the roots dried out too much. And then you put water on those dried roots and then it turns to rot. Classic, classic. I'm sure we've all been there at some point. Seriously, it's the number one killer of my plants is neglect followed by just watering normally. Classic, love that, love that. I don't love it. So yeah, that, that's this guy then. And now I have plenty of them. I ain't worried, but he looks terrible. And that's what today's video is all about, guys. It's basically just to remind you, it happens to everyone. I'm sure everybody at the minute has plants that don't look their best, hopefully better than this guy. So feel better because stuff like this happens all the time. This one's really bad, actually. I'm getting a good look at it now. This one's really bad. <laughs> I picked quite a nice one. Let's give you some close-up horrificness. Hopefully that is focusing. I feel like it is. That is noise. Noise. Look at that. Noise. It's worse on the back, I think. Let's give you the other one. Oh, look at that. Yes. Get it. Get it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just to prove there is no pest as well, by the way. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, hell yeah. That's nice. Loving that. So, yeah, that was... Philodendron gloriosum, looking really shit. Will it survive, by the way? Yeah, totally. To be honest, even if this is full of rot, it's probably still gonna survive. The gloriosum is just mint. At least they are for me anyway. They grow really well. Even if they die, they come right back. Don't know if that's the same for everybody, but it is for me, so yeah. Check him out. Hopefully next time you see him, he won't look that bad. Okay, the next plant I'm actually really, really sad about. I really am, because this guy looked great and, he doesn't look terrible yet, right? He doesn't, he, he doesn't. He looks kind of like, oh, I don't know, four out of 10, maybe, especially for this type of plant, for sure. But again, he didn't like being in the cold very much. He did not, he did not. And he did look mint, he looked absolutely great, but clearly he's on the downturn. So I thought I'd show you him in mid-stage of his little metamorphosis, this here, and I'm gonna have to kind of hold onto him in the pot because he likes, I mean, I don't really need that pot, to be honest. Let's just get rid of that pot. That's a lot easier. So this here, and I'll show you the nice leaf, shall I? Because this is the nice leaf, by the way. This here, if you can't already tell, is Queen Anthurium. And can we just, just for a second, appreciate how amazing this plant was? Because it's got another three leaves there, and then this big one, which is the newest one here. So it'd be nice if this one survived. But I need to show you how gorgeous, if I just stand back. That's how gorgeous it actually was, guys. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful plant, and I'm really sad that this has happened to it, but I think nearly every queen that I have, yeah, some of them still look dark, actually. I've got like a tray sort of up over there in this first aisle. Some of them I can see here look still dark. They could just be new leaves, don't know. But this one was one of my favorites uh, because clearly it's made of tough stuff to grow in here and get nice and big. So these are the other leaves which are not doing so well. So this one's, it's modest enough. Again, no pests. Literally, the back is literally immaculate. So we have this leaf here that's doing really, really crap. Again, totally a victim of the cooler temperatures. Not really a water thing. I think this is a case of just temperatures and they will have been sat slightly in cold water. See this one, because it's in moss and it's in a pot, it won't really be sat in cold water. Because in the unit, if I'm doing a tray of moss, I will only put the tiniest bit of water in the bottom of the tray when I fill it up. So the moss will take it all up. So they're not really sat in water, but I guess, I mean, if anybody's dealt with these plants before, it's it's an event, right? When <laughs> you ship them in, a lot of shops, I've said this before, we tend to grow a good leaf on them. And as long as you've got one good leaf, they're good to go because you're just gambling. Otherwise, you can try and get a plant with many leaves. And I'm sure some of you out there are amazing at it. Some of you just click with Queen Anthurium, right? And you get all these great leaves. I'm not one of those people. I will freely admit to you, and I have done before, I'm not one of those people. So I like to make sure I've got at least one good leaf. Hey, if I've got a few more, great, awesome. But generally not. This one would have been it though, because it, I'll be honest with you, I could have removed these three, had one amazing leaf, the roots haven't changed, great plant. So there's still a bright future for this plant, but you can see from the bottom of this, it's, it's not, <laughs> the bright future is not imminent, you know what I mean? So yeah, we've got this one here, I'll try and sort of position on the camera. That's not doing great. This one is definitely going to go yellow, 100%. I hope it shows. It's going yellow from the bottom. All of this is uh, is turning. And this one is also going a bit yellow. Now there is a bit of, not debate, but a bit of an argument I see online sometimes. And that is essentially, when a plant is yellowing, 
do you just cut off the leaf? Because I'm pretty sure the answer, and don't quote me on it because I really don't know everything. I'm pretty sure the answer is no, because what the plant will do is probably withdraw its energy from this leaf, knowing it's dying off, right? So it will take the energy back in. Hopefully I'm not making this up, guys, but I've been told this and I haven't bothered to look it up. But what I believe to be true anyway is that you leave these on until they go yellow, then remove them. In a philodendron case, sometimes I'll wait for it to either go like super yellow or sometimes they drop off, something like that. These can drop off, but they're a bit more resilient than that in terms of the petioles coming off. But I probably wouldn't cut this. I would only cut this leaf off if I was doing literally full, full transparency, if I was doing a plant tour or something like that in the unit and I want everything to look its best and say this leaf was looking absolutely incredible and the rest weren't, then maybe I might do a snip snip. You know what I mean? And that's just me being completely honest with you. And I'm sure we all do it either for Instagram photographs or I'm sure there's plenty of YouTubers that do it. I don't know how many are going to admit to it, but we all do it. Do you know what I mean? We all do it. So I'm not going to cut that. It doesn't look too bad at the moment, but it will. See, I'm looking in the viewfinder and I, I can't see because there's so much light on me. I can't see how bad it looks. Um, I assure you it is bad. Honestly, it is. This one's definitely turning. This is one of the worst. That's definitely turning because it's going blotchy and yellow. This one, well, it's Doritoed. And this one's taken a bit of a punt. And again, it's got yellow blotches. So mm, trust me when I say it's bad. But it will be around for some time. This isn't a dead situation. This isn't like, hopefully, what the banana won't be. Because the Gloriosum will come back as well. So that's him. I'm going to pop him down. And I think I will actually pop him in this little this little pot that I did have him in. But he was, he was way too wobbly. Look, what was the point? Right, I'll pop him down. Oh, my goodness. I have to show you this next one. I'm just going to have to pick it up. Um, I'm so disappointed with this. You will probably remember this. If you watch a lot of my repot with me's, You'll know that it got repotted, oh my God, I don't know when, a, a while ago, a while ago actually. And I thought it would do really well. And I was warned, you did warn me. I know you did, you warned me, you warned me, hey, this is not gonna do well. Shipping it, I don't think goes very well. Repotting it does not go well. You warned me. I, I sort of listened, but did it anyway, because you warned me after the fact it had already been repotted. But yeah, this this looks terrible, guys. This looks, pff, I don't know what to do. If you've got any ideas, let me know. I'll just grab it, shall I? Because I can't really lift it. It has to just sort of come at you. Right, come on. Let's be having you. Oh, Lord. This, this, this. I'm so disappointed. I can't even tell you. This has, I don't think it's suffered anything other than the temperature drop. It hasn't actually been underwater, I don't think. The aerial roots are literal insanity. There are plenty of them. It, we're not short on those. But can you see the problems I've had with this guy? This just, it just offends me, guys. It just offends me so much. I thought these plants were good and tough because this plant originally had been kept in like really dry soil for an eternity on a windowsill, didn't get watered. We've all got that one plant, right? Or we've all had that one plant in our lives where it doesn't get watered, doesn't get anything. Like the soil's rock hard and it's just growing. And then you might give it a tiny bit of water from the, you know, the bottom of your watering can once every blue moon and it thrives, right? And then one day, one day you decide, I'm going to give that plant some love. It's done well. Imagine how well it could do if I cared. Hey, I don't see them around. You know, I've seen a couple on Instagram. I want that. I can do that. I've got that in, you know, in the back of my kitchen. Holy shit, let's do it. And then you repot it and you give it love. You give it substrate. You tie it to a pole. You do all of the things, guys, all of the things, not just some of the things, you do all of the things. People warn you. <laughs> In my case, people warn you. But then you get this, and I have not cut this, as you can see. I have previously, well, I say I've cut it, I haven't, I've pulled leaves off previously, because I think these are some of the original ones you might have seen. So this, I don't even think I mentioned to you what it is. Does it really matter? It looks like a weed. This is philodendron, I think you pronounce it was was Wixii. I'm so sorry I can't pronounce that, guys. I know I get shouted at all the time on how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. But that's what he is. I do have the two babies up here. Let me try and grab at least one of them. They're identical looking, so not much point grabbing two. These still look shit, to be honest. Lovely aerial roots, not a problem with them. But they look like shit. Now, they do get underwater a bit, actually. I will be honest about them. But this one doesn't. This one's fine. And look what it's done to me. Look what it's done to me. So this is just... Yellow, likes to yellow. Let me check for pests. Literally. 
immaculate. <laughs> so we have these that have done a bit better. Obviously, the plants got smaller from being repotted, which, okay, that's kind of acceptable, right? That happens. Sorry, I've got hair on my face. But it, it's sort of got smaller and smaller. So why has it got smaller and smaller? I don't understand it. I've got thousands of plants in here, guys, and I don't understand it. What is wrong with it? Why isn't that one grown? But yeah, these plants can look amazing. This one does not what this one looks like. Shit. So I'm really, really disappointed. But if anybody's got any tips, maybe we can try again. I'll repot it or something. This is in pond, for those of you that are wondering. Maybe he's just a soil kind of dude, right? Maybe that's just what he needs. I don't know. I don't know. Does it look like I know? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I don't know what to do with him. He looks so bad. I really wanted this for my house. I planted it ahead of time, literally months ago. He looks like shit. He's going to have to live here a little while. So maybe we change the substrate. Let me know if you've got any tips. If you've got one of these, let me know what you're growing it in. Because I do still really, really, really want a large one of these. I'm not giving up on him. I do have two more of him. Maybe I can experiment with the other two and do one in like soil, one in something else. Maybe we could do that and see what happens. But yeah, let me know, because this, this guy don't look so good. And it just keeps happening. Look how small this middle leaf is. You see that? Hopefully you can. Look at the state. Oh, honestly, it's ridiculous. I am genuinely very disappointed by that one because I was so, so, so excited to have a really big, pretty one. And if you've seen pictures of mature ones online, literally they're amazing and if you haven't i implore you to look it up because they're so so intricate and pretty and beautiful it's such a shame that that one just refuses to work for me when literally i've got pictures of it from ages ago i think in this unit it was still in the original pot it was in soil it never got watered and it looked damn amazing and i've given it love and it's turned out like that so i'm not very happy but on that note Thank you very much for watching today's video. Sorry I haven't got as many uglies as normal. I feel like normally I have a little bit more, but everything looks so ugly. It's kind of, they're all much of a muchness. In most cases, it's just yellow leaves, and I just feel like that's cheating you a little bit to just show you yellow leaves and go, oh, look, it's terrible. It's not, it's a yellow leaf. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, thank you very much for watching this week's video. Please stay tuned for next week's video. I'm pretty sure it's a good one. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Give me a big thumbs up. It really, really helps. If you would like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to subscribe. That's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.